Well, hello everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope you're staying safe uh, during this time of, I guess, this crisis with the uh, virus going on. Uh, I was debating should I make this video and make a complaint about this, but I think most of us will be just fine. And maybe while we are sitting home, maybe we can help each other resolve some things when it comes in regards to uh, monitoring the information for the inver from the inverters and uh, make some sense of this all this information that is being thrown around from the inverters. Um, I want to start by saying that what you're looking at right now is the application that comes with the inverters. It's called Watch Power. Uh, pretty much it's useless. It doesn't give you that good of information. It just gives you information that it's currently that it, that is currently happening information at that moment. It doesn't give you accrued information as to you know uh, how many how many kilowatt hours did you use today or how many kilowatt hours you got coming in through a solar system or you know all the different consumptions and you can only see as you can see here this is only from one side of the inverter and then on the end you only got four lines for total meaning from both inverters and this is the only useful information it doesn't even give you the total voltage it only gives the phase a split um, so and then you can see the first inverter and then you can see a second inverter and doesn't give you a lot of information now all of this information is recorded and it can be used if somebody knows how to use it either from the charts or the data sheets so if you go to data sheet and let's say we want to choose something from uh, device let's say the 23 is my inverter number two right so we cannot pull all this information we can choose which one we can pull and show on the screen and go from there uh, and i can hit browse and it will show me that information okay this is all well and good if i'm looking for something if i'm looking for a problem yeah i can sift through these numbers but I would like to see something done a little bit better. So that's why I'm asking if some of you guys that are watching my videos, do you know how to code stuff? And the reason why I'm asking that is all of this information from both inverters is recorded. I just need something that can put this information together. If I go to the watch power um, folder and I go to where data is logged you can right here you can see this humongous file which is actually around 134 megabytes has about three four months worth of data stored in it is there a way to get this data out of here and um, kind of add numbers up uh, divide numbers up uh, provide some concrete information does anybody have a clue how to do that? Uh, <clears throat> I really don't know. I have tried many different things. Uh, apparently, uh, Watch Power is using some kind of a, a Java stuff. I really don't know that much. Uh, Java runtime routines. So, I don't, I don't know how to get to it how to read it is there a way to read it is there a way to open it is there a way uh, to manipulate it if somebody can provide the answer on that it would be great now another thing um, what I have tried to do is try to get this um, the inverters to talk to through Raspberry Pi 4 to talk to um, I had I tried inverters to talk to Raspberry Pi I was able to achieve something and get somewhere uh, 
I was able to get one half of one inverter to talk to Raspberry Pi. I have used the code provided over here by JB Lance or J Blends. Uh, the guy was super helpful. And he has this written up over here for MPP Solar. And this is all done through the uh, through uh, through the work of the others, and it's kind of all combi uh, combined uh, into this code that they have. Um, I managed to get somewhere with this. Uh, it's actually it, it works if you're only using one half of one inverter. I can't add both converters together. And the reason why I'm doing this is what I was trying to do once I get to data. Once I get the data like this, is I was trying to get this data, have it stored, and then maybe use that data and send it to Grafana. And some of you might know what Grafana is. It would be great if we could display that data in Grafana. It's, it's, it would be more better than what we, looking at, what we are looking at right here. So I am appealing for your guys' help to maybe leave a comment, post a comment on to how to get going with this or, or provide some help. Because this, this is ridiculous. Other than helping you set up all the inverters with the commands, which work perfectly, this menu over here, it's, it's beautiful. It's easy to set up stuff with it. It's easy to change stuff. You don't have to go through the menus on the front, on the front side of the inverter. This works fine. However, this data logging over here, it only shows current current situation. It doesn't add stuff up. It doesn't have occurred numbers, accrued numbers to show what you're doing at that moment. So I'm appealing for help to see if anybody can figure this out or at least help me out or point me in the right direction on to how to make sense out of all of this. I don't want to make this video long. It's already seven minutes. Please post a comment. Let me know if there's anything that can be done. Um, thank you and um, I'll see you guys soon. I know this is a bad time with all this stuff going on, but maybe since we are sitting home, since a lot of us are sitting home, maybe we can figure this out or help me figure it out. It would be great. Thank you guys and have a good day.